So like for every level we attempt a landing which is not super the best but it's working although we've broken a couple of tubes and um, what do I see here? It's kind of weird creature who got crushed by our, uh, by our feet the feet of our shot Alright so now what do I see? A bunch of tubes This looks like a research center and uh, tube in the, in the middle, a big tube with a big creature in the, in the middle and a chest and a bunch of seeds so I'm going to open the chest something tells me by the lack of power nodes here that uh, I'm going to need some new technology to protect my base and lo and behold I have that new technology it's called the rail allows you to connect a weapon on each side so instead of having only one weapon that I can connect on my Macroid I can have two additional weapons uh, so we see that it's, uh, it's quite handy so here I, um, I plant uh, my strawberry a bit uh, haphazardly and uh, that's not a very good idea as I see a bunch of a bunch of little eaters are already coming to wait and eat those strawberries so I'm going to use a bliss engine to speed up my strawberry growth and uh, I see that uh, the rail is right here but it's 500 and I don't have enough so let's make enough strawberries to cover the cost of that new technology and see uh, if it's uh, any use in this level. So see I noticed that my strategy may have been better if I had uh, concentrated all my strawberry patch in one area, this one or that one. But since I did not, I have to run back and forth to make sure that these little fellas don't eat my strawberry and mutate into those nasty little uh, spitters. Which we used to call scouts. Because they're so fast. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, that's not good. I'm gonna need a new weapon. Okay, good thing. 560, I have the rail. Let's turn on the rail. And then move our bliss engine over there and get a tiny little laser there you go bam, 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 bam. so dodging those uh, fireball is pretty easy because we don't have that many oh bad 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 Ooh, a few more it's not good Alright, so when it's not good and there are too many creatures, what do we do? We buy a missile launcher. There you go. This area of effect, the missile launcher is perfect for uh, gather social gathering of locals. So we hear is, uh, you know, that that sharp sound is the. The missiles are hitting some of those tubes here. Over there. And what we see is it damages the tubes. Give you an idea. Something not to do. Ah! One of the tubes. Oh no no no, not a good idea. The big tube just broke. That's why the missile launcher may not be the ideal weapon in this situation. But that's all we have right now. So let's switch to the Tesla, which is a little more focused. Another one just broke, that's not good. And always get your shuttle repair arm turned on, They're activated, and this engine for the shuttle to accelerate our healing. Right now we're getting damaged heavily by these very powerful weapons, very powerful enemies I mean. These guys have two blades to double. It's a little bit like a shaver, you know, it doubles the shaving, and in this case, they are trying to shave you off the planet. Very, very deadly. So, if you want to try, we're going to put a couple, yeah. We're going to put a couple missile launchers. Here we go. To help out, you know, 
pacification. Okay, that's not good. This guy keeps popping it. Oh, oh, oh. no, missile launcher just let's <laughs> die before I could pick it up. Oh, by the way, when a weapon starts screaming, it means that it's really close to dying. And when you pick it up, uh, you can save it in extremis from death and it becomes invulnerable because it's on your macro. So, screaming weapon, it will pick it up from them. That's not, that's not good either. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to be a little smart about that. Let's see what we have. Maybe another Tesla, because as we know, Tesla, let's see. Teslas, they combine their beams. Uh, and as you can see, it arcs between Tesla that's on the rail and Tesla that's on my back. And so it, uh, it increases the power of the Tesla. Uh, it's, uh, it's really good. Without removing any power on the main beam. The good thing about the Tesla is if you have a big crowd of little monsters, they're a little bit like Taser, you know, they have crowd control. And, um, and I do not endorse crowd control, by the way. But I endorse using a Tesla to minimize wreckage in my base, which is so poorly defended right now. It's not very good. So the good thing is we're at 520. And soon we're going to have enough money to buy a, an upgrade from the Tesla. Now the good thing is the monsters. Okay, I'm going to show you a little, a little something that's fun. And the Tesla right here. And I put another Tesla right there. As you can see, they're arcing together. Very, very efficient. But if you have a ranged enemy, you can't really protect. Oh, oh that's bad. That's, that's not good. That's a cool management going on. I feel the vision is going down the way. I'm not doing very well. Well, I'm, I hope, I'm sure actually that uh, you're going to do better at uh, this level. It's really easy to manage actually. You just uh, think more than I do. <laughs> hope you enjoyed and uh, level 8 will be out on Madrid very soon. Thank you.